Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, this is Gerald Blaine. Gerald is actually our Director of Sales for all of our projects and is kind of the resident expert on, uh, on, our, on our auto flame to be able to kind of talk about that. So what we talk, what we'd like to talk about today though is um, the servo motor with the auto flame. Um, and their servo motors, whether it's on auto flame or Siemens or other companies as well, right. of course. But um, what we wanted to talk first though is kind of where it, where it came from, what, what we did first um, with this linkage setup. Mm -hmm. Maybe just let us know that. Well, here you have uh, what we call single point positioning system. It has a modulating motor running uh, fuel valves, running air dampers and so forth. And this is how everybody did it uh, back in the day. Uh, and when Autoflame invented uh, the parallel positioning servo system, they looked at that and said, you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and how can we get better control, more consistent, and it not get sloppy over time. And really this is just one motor that's one motor. driving all of these things. So yeah. the servo motor has given us an, an opportunity to really separate everything. Separate it all out, almost like a, a, a carburetor or a fuel injection system right. type thing, right? right? So, well, let's talk a little bit about the um, servo motors over here. This is actually a vapor boiler that we've got with a limbs filled burner on it and now you're going to start seeing the servos and maybe just talk a little bit about the servos what they do yeah there's a few different ones on here this one here is controlling uh is an air damper as well as an inlet air these are all what we call our small servos uh, mm -hmm. this would be classified as large and they run in a, a range of torque and torque's a big deal depending on what you're actually trying to operate mm -hmm. uh, dampers in general tend to have more torque than say a gas valve um, so we, these would be around three foot, foot pounds, okay. which is pretty significant compared to other types of servos. Uh, large servo might be 18 foot pounds, and then we can show you some uh, industrial servos that can go up to 289 foot pounds, oh, wow. which could you know, flip the whole boiler over kind of right, thing. Right, right. So what's unique in particular about uh, the auto flame design, uh, they're very accurate, 0 0.1 degrees of accuracy, so it's complete control the whole time. And then it's built to military specification, so it's very durable. Uh, we don't have a lot of these fail. Mm -hmm. um, and another unique thing, uh, other than the way other people would do it, most people have a potentiometer in their gearing system, mm -hmm. uh, where Autoflame has a potentiometer that's directly on the shaft. Okay. So even if you have any gear movement, it, it's irrelevant to it because we're monitoring the shaft turn. Ah, so okay. we're dead on all the time. And, and this is not like a on off. I mean, this is. No, it's continuously, continuously moving. moving. Yeah. Okay. Every, uh, every need or call uh, of the combustion system, uh, this will respond directly to that. And it's not, the whole system is not tied together. I mean, to where everything moves a certain way. This is, it is geared for air. It is geared for FGR and, it, and the system right. is, is monitoring all that. Yeah, when, when it gets commissioned, uh, we're looking at every point of the combustion curve. So wherever this particular damper needs to be at a given point is commissioned into this motor. Mm -hmm. And then this motor is commissioned for this damper specifically for that point in combustion. Mm -hmm. So they all work in direct uh, correlation with where they're supposed to be at that level of firing rate. Yeah, and it actually when we're, we're looking here, maybe you can see it on the screen, you're not seeing that there's a servo over here on the uh, gas right. as well. So that works in correlation with everything else. Right. So as I was saying earlier about the potentiometer being on, directly on the shaft, uh -huh. our industrial servo actually shows that. It has a clear plate here, and you can see that the potentiometer is directly on that shaft. All the uh, servos are designed that same way. It's just mm -hmm. with this one, you can actually see it. Real, real quick, because obviously we're talking about a large servo. We were had some smaller servos servos yeah. over there. What what determines how the size of the servo? Um, depending on if the bigger the unit gets, uh -huh. uh, uh, this is a multi-blade damper system, uh, which this one actually doesn't need as much torque. So this is one of our smaller industrials. Mm -hmm. But some require quite a bit of torque. So it, you will have a specification on what it takes to turn this. Okay. So then we would match up the servo for each application. Okay. All right. We well, appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. As always, appreciate Gerald hanging out with us, talking about those servo motors. Now, if you'd like to know more, we are going to have a school that is coming up for our regional customers, um, one in Chattanooga and one here in Louisville, Kentucky, that's coming up in September. So make sure you check the dates 
and get registered. You can actually go online and register. You can give us a call, um, but it's a great opportunity for two days to really, really find out about how the auto flame system works and enhances your boiler room. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you like our videos, please share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.